nobody, nobody believe I learned my lessons, lessons, so I'll stay around nobody. I can never trust nobody, nobody. I'll stay around nobody, nobody. I can never trust nobody. We have two teams in today's game with plenty of confidence as they're riding big time winning streaks. It's the Cowboys going up against the Packers. With that, let's get you up to Green Bay, Wisconsin, where we welcome in our commentators, Brandon Guy. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, and I know it's been a while, but we are back today with another episode of Life After Tony Romo, episode number six, baby. Right now, as you've seen earlier, we are currently sitting five and zero, undefeated, going up against the Green Bay Packers, who are also undefeated at four and zero, and we are ready to get this show on the road. Hopefully, we can keep this streak going. We have been playing extremely well. As you see the boy Quentin Howard letting the team know let's go. Aaron Rodgers trying to get his team excited. Let's get this first series on the road. Now the Green Bay Packers were able to score first. We had to punt the ball away and we got another stop. So here we are, 248 in the first quarter, first and 10. Dak drops back, surveys the field. He throws the deep bomb to Terrence Williams. He comes down with the catch over Sam Shields. Touchdown, first play of the drive. Dak and T. Will are ecstatic. Your boy Dak, 10th touchdown pass on the year so far. We are tied up here. As you see here on the replay, one-on-one -on -one coverage. They left Sam Shields on the island, and T. Will was able to go up and make a play and come down with that pass, baby. Here in the second quarter, made a stop. Second to 14 here on this drive. We find a wide open T. Will. He does pick up some yards. Dak is three for three so far. Third and five here. Trying to pick up this first down to keep this drive going. Little quick screen pass from Lance Dunbar, but it is eating up in the backfield. They were all over that. Now we are lining up the punt, and if you know I'm showing you a punt, you know it was something dope. Chris Jones punts from our own 30-yard line, and he ends up dropping it inside the Green Bay 5. He is excited. We end up stopping the Green Bay Packers on offense there. Coming back in on the other side of the 50, on their side of the field. But Dak is brought down, sack right up the middle. D tackle was untouched. That's his fifth sack on the year. So here we are, second and 18. Still trying to get a little something going. Dak keeps the read option, but it is stuffed in the backfield. Red easily. Nowhere to go. Third and 21. Most teams would just run it to try to not turn the ball over, but we're going for the home run play, baby. Dak drops back. He finds Dez, who comes down with the catch at the three-yard line. I don't know what these teams have not realized yet, but if you leave your corner on the island against Dez, we are taking our chance, and we are throwing it up and letting our receiver come down and make a play. First and goal here on the third as the uh, second quarter comes to a, to a close here. Trying to punch the ball in the end zone and head into halftime with a nice little one uh, one possession lead. And see Dak getting everything right. He finds a wide open Terrence Williams, but not so soon. Stop dancing, young fella. Something has happened on the play. There was a flag. Holding offense. So for unfortunately for us, Zach Martin did get end up being hit up with a holding penalty as we try to punch the ball into the end zone somehow as that screen pass is snuffed out, batted down. Luckily, it was not intercepted. That drops back again, and he throws a wild throw, completely overthrowing his receiver. I don't know where that came from. His feet was set, and he didn't have any pressure on him. So we try to go with a fade route in the corner of the end zone. Overthrows Dez Bryant, so we are going to end up walking away from this uh, series with three. Punting as the second quarter comes down to to an end here. Trying to go into halftime with a nice three-point lead. And like I said, if I'm showing the punt, something big happened. And they block it. What was going on there? The Green Bay Packers end up scoring another touchdown on a punt block. With six seconds left in the second quarter. Absolutely huge. Ran in completely untouched as they scoop and score for six. Now here we are in the second half, down four after giving up that touchdown right before halftime. First and ten, five of six here in the third quarter. Dak hands it off to Zeke, and Zeke gets to the outside. He has some wiggle room. He tries to truck the defender, but he's eventually brought down at the 47-yard line. 
Easily picking up the first down. 500 yards on the season so far. And we all know in real life what Zeke is doing. Being the NFL and rushing. It's a beautiful sight as a Cowboys fan. As we find Cole Beasley over the middle there at the 49-yard line just across the 50. As you see the offensive numbers for both teams are pretty similar. So this is a very, very close game. Even without Romo because, you know, that hopefully that can do this on Sunday as he ends up getting hit 36. But you know what? Fuck it. We're going to go for it anyway because we do trust our defense, but we, we believe that we can get this first down against this Packers defense. Our offense has been putting up crazy numbers all year. Dak back surveys the field, doesn't see anybody, takes off running, easily picks up the first down as he slides there at the 39-yard line, extending the drive, keeping the play alive with his feet. Nice little bubble screen out to Zeke. He tries to hurl the defender, but what is he doing? The defender ends up getting his helmet on the ball as he's able to punch the ball loose with that hit. Zeke can't believe it. I can't believe it. The team can't believe it. We were definitely about to take a three-point lead there. But we do end up getting a stop and getting the ball back. Cole Beasley catching the ball in the flats there. Picking up some quick yardage there. 626 here. Left here in the fourth quarter. Got to make a play. Need to, we need to score a touchdown. We cannot walk away with only three. Dak back. But he throws it right to Nick Burnett. I don't know what's going on with Dak. And you see Quentin is not... Happy with that play. Like you see there, once again, he had plenty of time. And he just completely overthrows Winton. That's just a typical rookie mistakes. And it's going to happen, but golly. But they end up only getting three out of there. Our defense comes up big, so we are still within striking distance to tie this game back up. Dak does not see anybody open as he's going to take off. And he's going to ugly. <laughs> has a nice little ugly dive. Just to end the play there, giving himself up. 23 rushing yards on the day on three rushes. We're driving down the field, a minute left. We definitely have a lot of time. As he finally finds Witten there this time, wide open without the overthrow. He's able to find the big fella, the most reliable receiver we have on the team. Back back with plenty of time once again. He finds Dez Bryant on the sidelines. He's able to toe touch, bring that pass in, stop the clock here. First and 10 right outside of the red zone, 48 seconds left. Can Dak tie the game back up for his team and extend this game and take us to overtime? Nobody's going to pick him up as he runs for some more yards there. We're going to end up calling a timeout. 40 seconds left, second and five. On the 17-yard line, we are inside the red zone, and we all know how tough it is to score here. Play action to Zeke, and he almost throws another interception. Luckily, Des Bryant was there to get his hand in there because he had something to say about that. This time he finds T. Will right over the middle as he's brought him down at the four-yard line. We're going to call our second time out there, 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Everybody on the sidelines is fucking ecstatic. We hype. It's lit. We're about to take the – trying to tie this game back up to send it to overtime. But Dak ends up having to rush his throw as the uh, defensive end off the corner there had a free release and almost obliterated his ass. He finds Cole Beasley across the middle, brought down the two-yard line, third and goal, no timeouts, 21 seconds left. Biggest play of the game right here, one of the biggest plays, and Dak once again is unable to find a receiver. So right now it's do or die time, 17 seconds left. A play needs to be made. We need our rookie to step up here and push the ball in the end zone some way. He doesn't see anybody open, but he has plenty of room to run as your boy Dak scores the touchdown. Game's getting ready to be tied. Barring the extra point is good, but we all know Thunder Dan doesn't miss too many uh, field goals, let alone extra points. So we're definitely going to end up going into overtime here as you see Dak. We end up winning the opening toss in overtime. We do elect to receive as we should have. First and ten, we get we get six. The game's over. Dez Bryant is only able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten, going for another screenplay. We find Zeke. He gets outside. He breaks one tackle, but he's eventually brought down at the 32-yard line. Three yards to go for the first down. Gotta make a play here. Dak rushes out, rolls out, doesn't find anybody, and he's brought down short of the first down marker. But you got to play bigger, go home, especially on the road. Scare money don't make money. We're going for this one, baby. Come on, Zeke. Do what you got to do, fam. Hands the ball off to Zeke, but 
unblocked linebacker comes in and brings Zeke down, and that's going to do it, folks. Our ambitious heart ended up biting us in the ass that time as Aaron Rodgers and the Packers end up beating us 23-16 as they're going to walk out of here with a W today on their home field. We put up a hell of a fight. We finally got our first loss of the season. As you see, this game was played neck and neck. It was there was no eventual there was no like definite winner, um, but you know we, we're still sitting good at five and one, definitely leading the NFC East. And uh, as always, man, stop and smack, stop and smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. Uncle Sam's Reject, ArcadeGames.com. I'm out this bitch. Peace. I got so many enemies. Why these niggas want at me? Stay high with the good trees. I'm high right now, my nigga. Now I see you slide, my nigga.